Bonsoir. Good evening and welcome to our uh, workshops on uh, for parents. Um, this evening we'll be exploring uh, how to encourage your uh, your child in literacy at home. Um, before we start, I would like to remind you that um, we want to encourage the use of accessibility tools in our uh, video conferencing uh, to ensure that everyone has un unhindered access to meetings. This is a quick reminder that in Google Meet, you can access the closed captioning feature for this meeting if you wish. Some people can access closed captioning by clicking on the CC icon next to the raised hand icon. If you do not have this icon, you can also access closed captioning by pressing the three dots icon, going to the setting and then clicking on closed captioning and turning it on. Please choose, please also choose English um, as the language. Before we start um, the workshop, I'd like to uh, start with prayer, with a prayer. Seigneur Jésus, en tant que parent, nous devons faire face à, de diffé à différents défis tout au long de la vie de nos enfants. Prions pour les mères, prions pour les pères et tous ceux qui guident ces enfants afin que Dieu les aide et les accompagne dans cette si belle mission qui leur a été confiée. Amen. Um, je vais poursuivre, I'll continue with the uh, land territory acknowledgement. Nous tenons à reconnaître l'histoire du territoire traditionnel sur lequel le Conseil scolaire catholique Providence dessert ses élèves. C'est avec respect que nous reconnaissons qu'à l'arrivée des Européens, les peuples autochtones étaient déjà sur ces terres. Nous voulons reconnaître les personnes qui utilisent ces terres depuis des millénaires ainsi que leurs descendants. a little um reflection before we start just put us in the in in the uh in the spirit of uh, our workshop this evening um it is important to keep in mind that reading writing and oral communication skills develop concurrently and in close collaboration even before a child enters kindergarten remember that strong oral communication reading and writing skills will contribute to your child's lifelong success so even before they start school they're starting to develop their language skills. So we're, tonight we're going to have fun learning together. And did you know, reading comes in many forms, all of which play an important role in developing children's literacy skills. And we're just going to, we're, we're going to explore a few of them now. It's true, this is reading. Using pictures, illustrations to tell a story, um, comic strips, there aren't any words. Often there aren't any words. There might be a few words, um, but entire story are told in different interpretations. Um, so it doesn't have to be a written text. It could be through through stories, um, just pictures, illustrations. Um, it could be through um, reading instructions, Legos, video games, um, magazines, uh, anything that your child is motivated in reading and looking and exploring. That is considered reading. Um, diagrams, illustrations, um, charts, that also is reading. We have a, um, a bicycle, a BMX bike, uh, all the different parts. Uh, some of them, they can, they can discover those parts. Uh, there might not be the vocabulary that's there. You can add it in there. So anything that motivates your child, um, those are a few, few examples of reading. Continuing, um, recipe books, variety of texts, Meteo Media, Weather Network, um, that's different texts. It doesn't have to be, like I've said, it doesn't have to be a, a, an album or a, a storybook. It could be a recipe book. It could be um, your uh, Guinness World Books where there are little facts, little tidbits. Um, uh, Wordle, that's all the rage right now. In French, it's le mot. So playing with words, Scrabble, Boggle, um, Bananagrams, um, all those different word games, uh, you're, you're playing with words, you're playing with letters to develop their vocabulary. Audible books, so listening to, to books. Uh, one example is uh, through Radio Canada. 
and it's just one one of many um, options that are out there um, at Edzio Canada. So as a parent, it's to go through what's appropriate and what's not. But here we've uh, uh, we've taken out the uh, la literacy jeunesse um, and uh, a, a variety of books that are offered um, different um, genres. So to 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 go through them and then uh, give them another option of reading, a different uh, different method. Um, Audible books through um, Amazon. Um, there are other sites too. Uh, whatever your child is interested in, we want to hone hone in on that and uh, develop. Okay, how can I support my uh, my child's literacy development? Well, there are three key factors. In doing so and we're going to go through them one to one so listening so listen to your child read out loud um if there isn't anyone that can listen to your child read in french um there's a uh, um uh, a tutoring uh, site it's called eureka eureka has somebody there you can uh, register your child and they will listen to your child read in french so Eureka, um, last week we had a workshop based on Eureka. So you can access Eureka, their website, as, as well as the um, um, board website, where you will also find the, the, uh, the workshop from last week's um, presentation. Read aloud to your child. You're a perfect model. So your child needs to, to hear you read um, out loud. And uh, it could be something a fun a fun thing to do, you know, on the sofa, on the ground, um, in the car, on the patio, wherever it may be, to have that time with your uh, with your child and having them listen to you read, and then listening for the intonation uh, used by your child. It's important to 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 listen to see if they recognize what's being said, if they understand what's being said when they're reading it, that they can foresee that the voice is changing because it's a different character or this character is asked a question or there's excitement. So your child is understanding what they're reading through their intona intonation. Observe body language. We've all had um, times where our body language tells us, hmm, something's not right. So what tasks, what activities are your child uh, um, engaging in? Where are they showing that they're excited and they're they're not sleeping or look like they're falling asleep or like they're completely unmotivated? So it's to 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 recognize and talk about what is motivating them and what's not motivating them at all. Um, what tasks? What books? What um, reading uh, styles do they like? What engages them in their learning? Supporting your child. Engage in partner reading a few times a week for about 20 minutes, um, whereas you're sharing the reading. You're reading the same article, the text. Um, maybe it's a, a journal entry. Um, maybe it's an article that you found online. It might be uh, a recipe that you're reading together um, to go through and see what you need. It doesn't have to be um, a, a novel it can be which would be entirely uh, um, that would be super fun just starting it and every day and then getting through um, the reading but you again you're a, you're a great accessible model for your child so to have that time and then you get to to support your child and if they have any difficulties decoding any words then you can you can model how you go about decoding certain words that you are unsure of. Make sure you have conversations um, every day, a few times a day, um, in question, not surface conversations. How was your day? Did you like that? No, where they actually need to reflect on what you're asking them. Ask them to prove it, to show you, to, to, to elaborate more on what happened. Um, what do you think? Why do you think? Um, can you prove it to me? Show me facts. Um, it gets them to, to reason and to think more critically. And then give your time to correct themselves. I know we're all pressed for time. Um, they need time. They need time to, to, to realize 
themselves that, oh, okay, maybe I didn't read that correctly and to go over it and to, to, to maybe look at the images, the illustrations and to, to realize that, hmm, okay, I need to, to try this one over again. Instead of just giving them the answer or just rushing them along, let them build that confidence in those skills, the, that, uh, those abilities too. Encourage your child. Encourage their success. More to, to, do, to do better. Um, we want to um, acknowledge that they might be having difficulty, reassure them that it's completely natural and normal, that we do struggle sometimes, and um, it, it's by persevering that we will um, be able to continue, but you need to motivate and acknowledge and reassure them. And um, encourage your child as a family. You can set out some reading time. Um, it's reading time. It's uh, our time to to read read a book as a family, or maybe a 10, 20 minutes. Everybody is just reading. Everybody has something to read, and it doesn't need to necessarily uh, be a book, as we saw earlier. Um, it could be a magazine. It could be a um, a comic. It could be something that they've drawn, and then you're reading it as a story. Um, so. Uh, Encourage that as a family activity. And then a model. You're the model for your child um, to model you doing some, some reading task or literacy-based task. It could be answering an email, sending a text, um, listening to a podcast, listening to um, the news, uh, planning a trip, uh, sending a, a card to somebody and we still do do snail mail but sending a, a card to somebody writing out a card all stuff that your child sees you doing and knows the importance of it how to develop reading comprehension um ask questions before during and after they've uh, read um, what do you think will happen why did that happen i'm not sure um, how do you think it will end? How could it have ended? Um, to read between the lines, to make inferences, uh, to, to, to have that capability, that capacity to, to understand that it might not be written, it might not be said, but this was what was intended. Um, and then summarize the information, making links, connections with things that they've seen, things that they've done, they've read, um, maybe places that you have visited by asking them them questions during the reading, after the reading, um, even before the reading, looking at the cover of a book. Hmm, okay, um, this looks like a place that we visited and getting them to, to get those uh, ideas out before they start reading. And then we live in a world that's con that's continuously changing and it's uh, riddled with... Uh, multimedia. So it's important to, to have those conversations and to ask those questions um, to develop that critical thinking with your child. Um, do, can they distinguish between a fact, and a, a fact and an opinion? Do they know that sometimes articles are written um, to have a certain opinion known that it might be the facts might uh, lead you into uh, a different um, thought might lead you uh, into erroneous answers. Um, it's a, uh, it's a, it's an art <laughs> to 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 develop um, that critical thinking. But we need to develop that so that they understand that. Uh, find the facts to prove what was um, written, what was said, the angles that they were given. The the article was written or given. And in school and home, as a parent, you've, uh, that, that partnership, that ally um, started uh, the moment that you registered your child in a French language school, and it has only gained, um, it has only developed through their years through the school. So that partnership is your number one home and school where um, everybody needs to be on the same page in that whatever's being done at school needs to be shared 
at home and vice versa. Um, your, your child is your number one priority and is our number one priority too. And we want to make sure that they have all those tools so that they can develop with confidence. Um, so the partnership between home and school is, uh, is, a, is a very important partnership and it needs to continue to develop through primary, um, secondary, um, the partnership is continuously developing. Um, a little um, an aside, there is a passport. We have a um, linguistic risk passport, um, a tool that we've uh, we've put out. It's uh, activities that the children, the students can uh, um, do, live in the community, they can do in the community, they can do at home. And that's a great tool that um, would be great activities to do um, with your family, with your child. And that's another partnership between the school and the home, whereas the, the little passport is brought at home. It's, uh, it's, it's, it goes at home, it comes to school, and uh, the, uh, it's a great communication between home and um, school. So thank you for um, participating this evening in our workshop. If you have a few minutes, it would be greatly appreciated if you could give us some feedback on the workshop this evening. So thank you and you have a great evening.